surrounded by loved ones in the witness box, an older cousin read the words of a young boy left orphaned. The offense has made me very sad at the fact I can't talk with my family anymore and make new memories with them. It's the first public statement from the Ufzal's surviving child since his sister, parents, and grandmother were all murdered because they were Muslim. The emotional message shared in court, ending two full days of victim impact statements delivered by relatives, friends, and a community left scarred. This whole situation has forced uh, not just me, my siblings, but any Muslim youth to grow up. The truck attack at this London intersection in June 2021 sent the surviving boy into urgent surgery with a broken leg and collarbone. He's being raised by family and his maternal grandmother who rushed to Ontario from Pakistan. In his victim impact statement, the boy writes he misses his chats with his sister, urging other children to cherish their loved ones. Arib Siddiqui read his cousin's statement in court. Me and Yumna had plans. Then when she finally got her driver's license, she drive me around. She said it would cost 25 cents per drive. Now, I'll never be able to see that. And about the boy's parents. Once they leave you, you start to really notice how much they cared, cared about you. The convicted murderer, Nathaniel Veltman, sat in the courtroom expressionless. All of it part of his sentencing process that's not done yet. We're going to hope to persuade the judges this was not an act of terrorism, that it was uh, the, an act that, that was predicated on some of his mental deficits. At the Islamic school in London, a part of Yumna Afzal lives on. The mural she painted urging students to shoot for the moon. Art, her young brother considers a fitting memorial. Thomas, so much pain in those victim impact statements, and all of that may factor in, in one of the issues the judge is considering. Yeah, she still has to determine whether this attack amounted to the legal definition of terrorism. And according to the criminal code here, uh, part of that definition is an act carried out to intimidate a segment of the public. Now, what stands out to me from the past few days is, is just that, the fear that the Muslim community and uh, loved ones described feeling while just... Uh, crossing the road or simply living in Canada ever since that truck attack. So uh, the judge is going to take all that into account on top of further arguments presented later this month, Ian. Thomas Dagler in Toronto.